Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will create this kind of nice building in Kazakhstan. So I think you already know this building. Uh, I will create just the shape of this building. Here, if you will look a bit closely, we can see one, the big sphere, inside the other one, as you can see here, is going like uh, like the wave, the line structure, and we will create it today. So I will show you in this tutorial just principle how you can create kind of shape. Let's get started. We not will try to copy this building, so all the things what I will do it will be approximately, and that's why I not will follow up the drawings. Anyway, if you want to, you will find around the internet a lot of the drawings of this building. The name of the building you already know. Uh, you can see it on the my name of the my video. Uh, so we are now should create the our mass form. So let's create the mass form. Actually, we should create like two mass forms. We will start from the internal one. Let's create the internal one. Here is our mass form and what we're gonna do first. First we should create our the circle. Let's create the circle. Uh, I will make it 25 meter. So it will be 25 meter. I know this is maybe not like in real building. So I, I don't care right now. Let's make it to the center line. I wanna see where is my center line and we will use a line. The main thing we should align everything. So you cannot just place it somewhere. So let's go to the level and now we're able to align it. So you're not able to do that in 3D view in mass form. Yeah, sometimes it's happened. Let's go to 3D view and now let's select our line. I want to create the sphere. If you will uncheck the reference form and you will select it again and create the form, you will see you are able to create now the sphere. This is really interesting thing. So I will leave it to mention on that. So our sphere is here, but we wouldn't uh, use the sphere. Actually, we want to transform it to divide surface. Let's do. Uh, let's transform it to divide surface like that. And as you can see, this is the problem. I want change the uh, di um, direction. I want to leave it in north and uh, on the north and south, not on the west and uh, east. So let's uh, do the uh, surface form here too. Let's select both of them. And now we want rotate. Yes, we will rotate on the 90 degree and nothing happened. Yes, this is the problem because uh, when you will leave it as as that one, we not will get the shape as we want. Uh, so what we can the tricky thing if we will select, for example, the main uh, cycle, and if you will try to rotate, you will see it's rotating on the flat surface. But we want to change direction, so for that way, you should delete your form, all forms. You should delete it. Let's delete it. And let's create the new one, but by different way. But now you know the problem. So let's delete it. Let's select that, that form. Where is that form? Okay, and let's delete it. Okay, so what we're gonna do? We need to set this, uh, the, uh, this work plane. You cannot see it right now properly, but if I will uh, select the show, you will see that... Um, that working plane. Let's draw it again, 25 meters. As you can see now, it's on the different di direction. Now we should go to the east, for example, uh, select uh, this um, cycle again. And uh, I, I wanna show the my, not reference plane, sorry, this is my mistake, center visible line. And I will use a line again. Let's align it to this one and let's align it to that one. Done. Let's go back to 3D. I will select it and I'll say I want to create the form and again I want to create a cycle. Now I will select one part and I will say divide by surface. I will get the same thing. It's okay. Now I will select the second part and I'll say di uh, divide by surface. But now I will select that my cycle one and I will rotate it. Rotate. 90 degree and what we get we get what we want the other way you not will get the same type you're not able to rotate on different directions so the, that's why i want to mention on that so if you want to make your uh, connection lines here and here this is pretty uh, nice for us because if you will have a look on our building you not will see the connection here because you will cut it and you not will see on the top because on the top you have 
something like the uh, opening roof opening here so you can cut it again you not will get intersection here and below the side also but on this side on this side it always will be smooth so as you know this is our main structure if we again have a look to the main structure you can see here is the like oh, biggest line but it's going on the same angle and as you can see if we have a look on this one this is triangle yes this is exactly triangle i will show you right now if you cannot see as you can see this is triangle yep let's go back to the our uh, to the our messing form let's select one part of that and let's see where is the triangle here Oh yeah, I found it. Triangle, flat or blend. It's up, up to you which one you want to use. I will use the band. So let's select the second one and I will say this is also the band. So we get triangle the form. Let's have a look again to the, our uh, building. As you can see, this is not as we get. It's not uh, going like uh, with... It's not, it's, it's not uh, damaging. As you can see, we have like uh, so straight uh, angles here, but on this side we don't have it. So we have like few ways to create the kind of the same shape. First way, you can use adaptive point and you can, I mean the adaptive family. And you can like cover from the top to the downsides the, with your adaptive family. The second way, you can increase, for example, the uh, numbers of your... Mm, of your uh, segments like say you want to make 20 and you want to make here also the 20 and you will get a bit smoothly but otherwise it will be smaller than you want so this is a problem again you can create uh, adaptive family you not will get the same problem or you can create the your uh, the this one uh, mean I mean the segments um, a bit smaller this is only up to you I will show you the both of the way so let's start from the first way uh, we will make it uh, without any adaptive family I will say here is the 15 and here is the 15 too so as you can see we get a bit smoothly uh, let's make the here also the 15 by 15 so I will I will do the 15 by 15 and we also get a bit smoothly but as you can see it's not mirrored and now one tricky thing as you can see it's not working as we want select one of the part and here you will find mirror and flip let's mirror it and as you can see now we get the mirrored and now you not will see any problem with that maybe on this side but it's okay for us because we will cut this part okay so now we can start to create the our um, actually the our uh, structure as you can see it here as I said again, this is triangle and we will create now this is triangle form. Let's do that. For that one we should create the new family. Let's go to the uh, file. Here we will find the new one, family. And we need find metric generic pattern based. Here it is. Let's select it. Uh, let's select our pattern. Just select your uh, basement pattern. And change re rectangular to the band. So this is our band as you can see and nothing nothing much. Uh, I will place just one dot here, just any dot you can place on the line, select this line and now you want to show the reference plane, yes, please, always. Now you can see the, your reference plane always. So let's select this part and now we should start to set this uh, working plane and let's draw it. The first I will draw it here, dimension one line reference line and this last line dimension it's reference line not dot reference line one line reference line eight second line the third line and again it's do equal let's change to the one to ten to properly see what's going on again one more dimension overall and overall here because our structure is really big we want to change it so let's select that and we will say this is will be w and let's leave it in type one and this will be l and let's leave it l so the i i don't know how it will rotate in our situation so i will go to create and i will do it approximately right now let's make it for example 150 by 500 millimeter uh, actually 500 is too much 300 millimeter will, will be pretty enough let's say okay so this is will be I will call it the same 150 by 
300 millimeters. So I will just create the two types. It will be better for me. I don't no, no want to go back 300 by 150. So for that type, I will I will just change 300 by 550. I'll say okay. So doesn't matter. Let's select now our uh, profile and let's select our reference lines and say create. So we get like that. Pretty awesome. Now actually we can change uh, type of the uh, our shape as you can see just by one click because I don't know how it will rotate in our model that's why I did like that so let's select one of the part uh, let's see is it locked I wanna just check it is it locked yeah this we don't have here locked and unlocked profile so everything working pretty well let's load it inside of the project uh, i already loaded to inside of the project i will close all the windows and even i will close the my family because i don't need it right now let's close it uh here we are in 3d no it's not 3d so here we are on 3d and now let's uh, replace our so select one of the part go to the triangle band and you will find here two families so that's why I did two families because I don't know how it will rotate. Let's use the first one. It will take time to recalculating and let's see what we get. Actually, this is what I want. So yeah, this is what I want. As you can see, the problem when you're using this method, not adaptive family, our connection here, it doesn't look nice. But if your model, it's not uh, about the structure, I, I will say this architecture one, this is pretty enough. Because this, if you are using, the, for example, to structure calculate, yes, this is terrible. But if the, this only architecture model, this is, will be pretty enough. Not because architecture is uh, bad, uh, b using the bad thing. No, because architecture doesn't need calculate any structure, uh, pressure, pressure, or something like that. But uh, as I said, you have the second way. It's only up to you. And again, if it's only the concept. This is also pretty enough. Let's select, select the second part and say this is family 2, also this is family 2. Again, few seconds and we get our main structure. As you can see, we didn't spend a lot of the time to create of this variant. And now we should create the second mass family to, uh, as you can see, the second uh, family have only the window with the more smaller uh, more smaller opening. Let's create it. We have two choices. We can draw uh, the second uh, family here or we can create a new one mass family and import it uh, also in this side. So I don't think so. We no, we no need to create the new one. Let's create it right here. But I will just select the, my main shape and I will say I don't want to see it. Let's hide the element. Let's hide the element and let's hide the element too. So now we can draw it properly. Uh, let's draw our cycle again. Uh, I will say this is, will be 25 meter too. So as you can see, let's select it. And now just don't be mistake. As you can see here is the, our second part too. Let's hide it too because I don't want to see it. Hide element. Now we have only our mm, the second, second one. Uh, cycle and I want to see the center mark visible too. Let's use a lion key and let's align it uh, As you can see we cannot align on this view. Let's go to the east view. Let's align it. It's okay here It's okay. I can see properly where is my uh, The fig uh, the my cycle so it's here Let's select it and let's create the form create the form and let's create the cycle Actually, I want to change the color because uh, maybe I will mistake it later on so I want to just make it I don't know like interior floor and let's leave it like some color let's say that will be I don't know red one let's say okay so now I understand this is the my second part uh, okay so what we're gonna do next next we should create the uh, divide by uh, divide by mm, surface uh, as you can see this is not right as on the picture uh, on the picture you can see this is angle something like 45 but on this top it's going more uh, more damp like 45 to 60 and 60 to 45 like sinus uh, or cosine something like that but it's not like we have so what we're gonna do I will select one of the part and I will uh, use the rectangular one because this is rectangular 
let's use the rectangular one and I will say this is will be uh, 20 by 20 even maybe we will do the smaller one no it's not 20 it's a 30 by 30 I think yeah now it looks like uh, our part uh, let's do the same thing on the other side and now we will do the magic 30 by 30 okay we did it and now I want to select one of the part as you can see the first thing uh, the our opening is here and opening it's here this is pretty cool I will select one one of the part and I will say this is will be rotation by 45 degree 45 degree other side minus 45 yes and now it's going the right and as you can see it's going like we want it's starting from the 45 degree and a bit rotating to the center the same thing I will do here minus 45 but as you can see we get perfectly we no need change anything we get perfect result here so done with that we already under the finish let's have a look yes this is what we want this is straight and now we need to create one more family uh, which part pattern we used here the rectangular again you can use the uh, here the rectangular family uh, I mean the pattern based family or you can use here the uh, adaptive family up to you I will use pattern based because we already used the pattern based and let's create one more family metric generic pattern based so this one if you still select the pattern, you will see this is rectangular, we don't need to change anything, so let's leave it as it is. And what we're gonna do right now, right now we should create again one more dot, let's place one more dot here. The pretty same, everything same, oh no, actually I'm lying to you, no, we, we will uh, do it more complicated. Uh, let's use the reference dot and place dot here. Again reference dot and place all the dots on the side like this. So you will see what we will do. Let's select this dot and say the offset will be uh, 500 millimeter. Okay. Let's check it out. Is it working? If I will change dimension, no, it's not working as you can see because it should follow up this the distance. Let's uh, uncheck it and let's do again reference dot set and set this working plane and after that place the dot. Now select the dot and say this is dot will be 500 above, like this. Change now dimension, now you can see it's following. Let's do everywhere like this. I will delete the dot, you can select and delete. Now uh, reference, dot, set, working plane, place dot, same thing. Reference, dot, set, working plane, place. And one more time, set, place. Now I want to create the parameter for that one. This is parameter will be offset. This is parameter will be offset and this is parameter will be uh, the type one or instance one. Let's make it type one. Type one. Now let's select all the dots. I want to select all the dots. I will select everything, filter and check none. And I want to uh, adaptive reference points. Okay, and let's give it parameter offset. As you can see, now we have 500 millimeter. You will see later on why I'm doing like that. Now go to the reference, find here the uh, line and make sure this is 3D snapping. If it's 3D snapping, it's snapping to the our points. Let's place it one by one. Just be careful. Okay, so what we did. If, for example, I changing one position, it changing everywhere. But now we have offset for that. Place now one point, select it. Now everything same. Uh, as we did before always I want to see always my working plane set my working plane and after that place your rectangular but without 3d snapping place it now again we need dimensions let's place it dimensions make sure dimensions is connecting to the reference plane and to the your line let's make it the 20 it's better for us and overall dimension this dimension will be equal okay the same thing for the other side one two three equal and overall dimension like that okay pretty awesome now we need again create the parameter w and parameter l don't make it instance so you can leave it like a type one and let's create again two type of that uh, of that thing 
of that panel, I mean, uh, 150 millimeter by five, uh, 300 millimeter. Uh, no, it's 300 too much, uh, 25 millimeter. No, 25 too small, 50 millimeter. Uh, let's apply and let's create the new parameter and uh, this will be uh, 150 by 50 let's say ok uh, let's create the new one this is will be 50 by 150 again I don't know to where, where it will rotate that's why I'm doing the two different types you can create any of the as, as much uh, type as you want so this is up to you 50 by 150 say ok done now select your profile and select your uh, reference line and create the form so here's the form done now let's load inside of the project uh, here is our project always uh, the 3d of this project here select one part of this project and say you want to use the one of this rectangular let's say this one we will check it how it's work like uh, delete type, some of the type you cannot create, I think it's on the top and on the bottom, it's ok for us. You cannot see now offset, but you will see it later on, so pretty pretty awesome, so I think I will leave it this one. But as you can see one thing I did mistake, we don't have any panels. Let's go back, let's go back to the 3D, now I will select all this part and I will say height, height element, but I wanna see only my reference plane. Uh, reference line select reference plane and create the form and create the flat or create with some thickness let's say 10 only select it and let's create it with 10 offset just 10 it will be enough select this uh, plane uh, now material and let's create it this will be like a glaze why not the glaze material transparency will be like 80% uh, color will be something like that and I will also will do some pattern too and color will be like that let's say apply let's say ok and we get something like that and let's unhide everything and we get the panel as you can see if you know, don't believe it's following smoothly as you can see and pretty enough for us let's load it inside of the project and let's overwrite existing version it takes time because now we have also the panels let's go back to 3d view and as you can see we get the our window panel pretty awesome let's do the same for the other part for that part and let's use it also the family number three it takes time now we should some delete the panels and as you can see we get our shape but it's not finished we should just unhide everything you remember we did uh, offset 550 millimeter and it's here 500 millimeter so now it's n because we have the shape main one and the second one we have the uh, ra radius 25 meters same radius if we not will make offset it will be on the same position that's why I did offset and as you can see we get something close like you can see you can see on the picture actually here the panels more smaller than we have we should create the, our pa our panels it's a bit smaller and we can do it if you want for example you can select one of the part let's select the two these parts okay and now I want to change 30 to the 50 50 by 50 just hold on it takes time so now we get the result let's say this is will be fine one and we get result actually uh, sometimes as you can see here the some problem if you will get the problem like that you should recreate the your shape yes it happens uh, because rabbits uh, sometimes have the problem with that if uh, you lazy to do that uh, first uh, you try uh, I mean the first create the form after that just test it and when you will find the nice position just use it so as you can see the shapes uh, like you can see on this picture it's really uh, cool but uh, sometimes you can think this is hard 
someone can think this is simple but it's not hard and it's not simple this shape it's a bit tricky you should understand how to create it uh, also you have like a lot of the ways how to create this shape you can create for example the form and you can use adaptive point and pattern based for example you can create your panels uh, with the glass with the pattern based and the structure one with the adaptive family this is only up to you. I'm showing you one of the way how you can use it. And now you you can export this form to your Revit project and continue working with that. If you want to use this project or you want to check it how it's work, I will leave below this video the link you able to download this this uh, family and you can use it in your project. By the way, this is Revit 2020 and you are able to open only in Revit 2020 and higher. Thank you guys. And see you next time.